few years ago, he worked 50 jobs in 50 states in 50 weeks. Well, he's at it again, this time with a different twist. And he's here in Bakersfield. 23 ABC's East Bakersfield reporter Christine Din tells us what Daniel Siddiqui is up to now. Christine? That's right. Three years ago, Daniel Siddiqui worked 50 jobs in 50 states in 50 weeks to tackle the topic of unemployment after he had a rough time getting a job after graduating from USC. Now he's on a new venture called Drop Me In. While life's a peach for some, Daniel Siddiqui is highlighting how it is not for others. Uh, the past week has been absolutely brutal. It's been just tough, a lot of bending. Um, yesterday pruning was one of the hardest things I've ever done. You know. For the past week, he's been working alongside field workers at Murray Family Farms as part of his new project called Drop Me In. I'm literally dropping into a community um, with no connections. I had a USC graduate, Dan, call us, say he'd like to go work with the field workers, and I thought it'd give him an opportunity to really have appreciation for the value of the hard work that they, that they provide. Siddiqui is traveling to six regions nationwide and spending one month in each, highlighting political, social, and economic issues people face in those areas. You know, I guess I'm trying to tackle a different epidemic in each community. Um, like obesity, alcoholism, uh, unemployment. Here in Bakersfield, he's focusing on immigration and migrant field work. It's really eye-opening for me, and it's been tough. I have a new appreciation where our produce comes from. Siddiqui says there's no doubt we need migrant field workers. Because a lot of people say, yeah, Amer the typical American wouldn't do it. I I'm I've seen a lot of hardworking Americans, but the, the wages here are a lot less. So would you find an American willing to do it for, for this much money? Probably not. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a, a vital um, source for our, our country. And I, I can definitely say that from experience. Siddiqui says he's migrating to Watsonville tomorrow to pick strawberries. From there, he'll go to the Mississippi Delta to tackle the topic of childhood obesity by training a small town for a 10K race. In the studio, I'm Christine Din, 23 ABC.